What is up, my ghoulie nation? I'm back at you again just to say thank you. That No, I mean that. Thank you. Thank you very much because this is a, um, a celebration for 100 subscribers. Now, I know 100 subscribers. Why am I celebrating of having 100 subscribers? Because of two things. I, number one, I did not know that this channel was going to be super big. I mean, we do have some wrestling channels like WhatCulture.com and uh, Good Mike Work, Solomon, uh, Deluxe Man, um, also uh, Grimm's Toy Show. I didn't expect to get 100 subscribers like, like this. And um, number two... I am not a popular person. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not. I'm not a popular person. But you know, it's just so amazing that a lot of you love to watch these videos and like to comment on them. So for all the hundred subscribers, and hopefully we can reach two hundred, and then or we can reach a thousand, and hopefully we can reach a hundred thousand, or hopefully we can reach five hundred thousand, or. We can get that one million. Only, only God knows. And you know what? You guys love, I love, I just want to say I love all of you guys for basically just hanging with me, hanging with me. And trust me, now that YouTube now has live for mobile, trust me, now we can do, go live when I actually do uh, the pay-per-views now and as a token of my appreciation let me give you three things that I'm here to talk about today and a little bit of notes on the side or what else I'm gonna be doing on the channel from week for weeks to come and I'm gonna get it done by at least by the month of December let's start with number one how many of you guys feel about Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho for Wrestle Kingdom on January 4th? Holy crap. You know what? It was brilliant. Brilliant booking. I thought the Twitter beef was just just their way of, oh, I don't like you. But, hey, kudos to Chris Jericho and kudos to Kenny Omega. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm happy for it. How you guys feel about it in the comment section? Let me know in the comment section below how you felt about Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. WWE was really surprised. They were surprised by Chris Jericho's announcement. I don't know. Vince, I don't think Vince and Triple H are going to go too a crazy with um, Chris Jericho. I don't think they should be mad at him. Shoot. I have a feeling this is probably a step up for Kenny if he can actually hold his own against people like Chris Jericho or a um, John Cena, if you will, or hell, Brock Lesnar. No, 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 Brock Lesnar. No, Brock Lesnar. Anyway, um, what happened on Raw? I wasn't home to watch Raw, and I wasn't home to watch SmackDown, but I've heard that the New Day came on Raw and screwed over the Shield so, and everybody's been talking about, oh, are we going to do The Shield versus The New Day? For some odd reason, a lot of people want to see that. I don't want to see that. Why have The Shield, a badass faction, taking on a bunch of three goofballs who have unicorns on their head, feeding cereal to people, and just... Why well, you have The Shield that just conquer and destroy things? I don't understand it. I don't know if you guys want to see it. Okay. They probably might shock me. They're probably going to do it because hell, Roman Reigns coming back next week. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Shield actually came in and beat the hell out of New Day on SmackDown next week. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, congratulations to Sheamus and Cesaro for being three-time tag Raw Tag Team Champions. Because they're, I just, they are not the bar. They are the bar. I guess that's how it goes. I don't know. I haven't been watching Raw. I haven't watched Raw this week, and I haven't seen SmackDown. But let's talk about SmackDown because Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Jinder Mahal is no longer champion. No longer champion. 
no longer champion. Finally, there is a, like JR would say, there is a God. There is a God in this world. AJ Styles is the two-time WWE champion. Hell yeah. Jinder Mahal, your title reign was boring, unnecessary, and almost killed the life of SmackDown. AJ Styles, I'm happy. AJ Styles, I hope AJ holds that belt until WrestleMania or hell. Hold it till Mania, hold it till Rumble. I don't care as long as they don't give it back to Jinder Mahal. Also, Pete Dunne made his Raw debut on uh, Monday Night Raw. And I saw how he did uh, Enzo. Also, on the side notes, that's all I have for you for this week. Oh, and the Usos. Uh, I think, oh, I hope not. I hope Jay, or I don't know if it was Jimmy that got hurt or Jay, I don't know. But I hope it's not too serious. I don't want the SmackDown tag team titles being stripped. Please don't do it. Oh, God, please let him be good. And also, it's come to my attention, John Cena is going to be on Team SmackDown. So for Team SmackDown, let me get it, let me get this right. For Team SmackDown, Shane McMahon, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura, Randy Orton and John Cena. I thought John Cena was gone, but apparently he's not. He's not. They think it, they, I don't know what to say, quite frankly. Was was this was it announced on SmackDown last night? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below for that one. So for Raw so far, it's Kurt Angle. Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, and Jason Jordan. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Team Raw is going to win the, 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 the Survivor Series with the male part. Now, the female one, that could be hit or miss. And also, I'll just get to the Survivor Series predictions next week. But um, for uh, this week... I heard CZW's Night of Infamy is this week. Am I correct? And I will do a pick and prediction on Friday for that. So stay tuned for that. Also, I'm going to try to get some ECW. Um, probably do November to Remember 97. Get that out the way. And 98. Two of the... No, 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 ECW's November to Remember 97 and ECW's November to Remember 98. I will try to give you those uh, DVD reviews. Also, for uh, that'll be for the month of November. Now, for December, Cage of Death, I will definitely do. Oh, I forgot about November. Um, NXT War Games, I will try. I hope and pray I can get that Saturday because I work on the weekends. The morning shift, if I can get the morning shift, guys, I will be home and I will live stream. I won't show the, the actual footage i'll just live stream with you guys and just do like a live reaction with you guys like a live reaction with you guys also um that'll be it for november and i'll probably do a um um a prick prediction i think that's next week ain't it it's, that's next week uh nxt war games that's next week yeah i think it is next week and I will do uh, my best to give you that. Also, um, that will be it for November. Um, December, uh, Cage of Death. I guess Starcade, because I guess Starcade is uh, the next SmackDown event for December. I will probably do that. Also, for December, um, should I do one WC? I was thinking about doing a WCW review of one of the most disappointing main events in history of WCW Hogan versus Sting Starcade 97 should I do that leave a comment below well that's all I have for you this week for well this for for today and I will be back here Friday for CCW's Night of Infamy until then I'm Mal Gooley you guys have a wonderful day let me know in the comment section below and like I said from the bottom of my heart thank you guys 100 subscribers 
this channel wouldn't be nothing without you. Please share, like, comment this video. So, I'm from Al and thank you guys so much. 100 subscribers. Hopefully, we can get this channel growing more so I can give you more content, more of everything. Until next time, I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you, guys. Love all of you. You guys have a great day.